What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. And today we got a double dip doer review, baby, for Friday. Happy, happy Friday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful morning or day, wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing the love. And if you are new, come on in, baby. Hit the like and subscribe. Join this Fat Boy family. We love to have you. We are growing immensely this month, averaging about almost eight to nine subscribers a day. We might hit 3K by the end of the month. That's the goal to celebrate two years in YouTube. Thank you so much. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Don't You can check the details below for the Road to 3K for your chance to win three different prizes. We're going to have a big giveaway if we get there by the end of the month. We got to the 12 at midnight at the end of this month to get to 3,000 subscribers, which would be a great milestone for a small channel like mine who doesn't shill, who doesn't, you know, ride the coattails of other big channels. I've done it the right way, and I worked hard, and I keep putting content out. Over 500 videos in two years. That's some work, baby. All right, let's get in this review. Before we do that, one more thing. In honor to celebrate two years of YouTube, we're having a week-long BOGO special at FatboyFragrance.com. You've been looking to get some decants and try some Duas, try some Alexandra's, Nice, or Designer, or a lot of different clone houses. Go over to FatboyFragrance.com. That is my website. I run it. I keep it real. That's how I'm able to buy fragrances and not take freebies and keep my opinions to myself and that's what I always love to do is give you real opinions because I got skin in the game baby details are below you buy one decant you get one half off we're running that through today until next Saturday and it might end through Sunday I can't remember the dates but go over to the website homepage you'll see the details at fatboyfragrance.com where the customer's always right now let's not mess around we got two great blends from Dua double dip review Let's get all up in it after the break. And you know how we do it. No edits. No do-overs. One take and one take and we get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews Double Dip Friday starts now. All right, baby, we are back. Like I said, these are two bangers we'll be talking about today, and they are Essence the uh, uh, Essence the va Essence of Vastness of Citrus, a vast citrus water, excuse me, and Fig de Amalfi Coast. These are blends of two amazing fragrances of each of these that are bangers on their own. Now, I've smelled three of these four that are blended in each of these. I haven't smelled the Creed. But I have smelled Aqua de Palma. So we'll start off there first with um, Fig de Amalfi Coast. Bam. And that is a blend of Fig Fico de Amalfi from Aqua de Palma, which is probably one of the best fig note fragrances you're ever going to smell. The biggest issue with that fragrance is it doesn't perform. Do its version of Fig de Amalfi does perform better. Not great, but better than the original for sure. All right, it's considered a fruity floral, which I think is about right for this one. And it is a blend of Fico Del Mafia, like I said, and Cree's Hardin Del Mafia, which is kind of more of a floral kind of fragrance. The notes on these bad boy, it, the notes are grapefruit, bergamot, citron, pedigree, lemon, fig nectar, jasmine, cinnamon, mandarin orange, pink pepper, fig tree, apple rose, cedar wood, Haitian vetiver, white musk, and benzoin. So, I don't normally read the notes on these, but because I'm not familiar, familiar with Hardin de Amalfi from Creed, I wanted to kind of get my feelings on this a little bit better and give you guys a better a feeling, a better kind of breakdown of this. I'm not going to be able to break down every note in here. Nobody really can. So, you know, newsflash. People that tell you they can, they lying to you. <laughs> but we can pick up on certain groups and groupings of notes that I'll share with you on this one. 
So let's go ahead and put Fig Dead Mafia on the skin and see if this one gets my full seal approval or not. In the air, in the man, in the air, you get mostly Fig Dead Fecal Dead Mafia up front, Fig Dead Mafia. You get all that gorgeous, amazing Fig Note, which is still a banger and still one of the most classy fragrances you can have in your collection. If you haven't tried it. It's really great. The bottle looks like this. A great fragrance. You can sample these at fatboyfragrance.com if you want to get a decan of them. I should have plenty available. You can just go to the link below, fatboyfragrance.com. And if you are new to Dua, the link is below for Dua also. I paid for all these just like you guys pay. Dua doesn't send me anything for free. So it's always going to give you my opinion shield free. Yeah, so in the opening, I get all that fig. I get almost like a green fig vibe when I first smell it. But when it starts to dry down is when that floral component kicks in. And to believe it or not, that fruity floral, which would most of the time for a guy be kind of like a letdown as far as a fragrance you can wear all the time, not this one. This one is gorgeous. It is an absolute perfect blend of a fragrance. Oh, man. I get that green fig vibe up front, and then towards the middle, I pick up on the floral notes, and it just delivers. It delivers and delivers and delivers. I love this blend. It doesn't get talked enough. It falls back a little bit because of the other blends that came out in that in that in that weekend. But don't sleep on Fig Dead Moppy. Not a lot of complaints from anybody about this fragrance when I wore it. It's a gorgeous fragrance that's going to leave a beautiful smell. And when, when it heats up, it really starts to amp up and perform really well, too. This is a summer must, in my opinion. All right, let's see if this one gets my full seal approval, and we'll move on to the next one. Performance. Oh, my God. Great performance, dude. I'll take this performance all day. I, if I can get six hours out of this kind of fragrance, I'm good. I barely got two out of Fig Dead Mafia. So, performance, solid. Check the box. I think the performance is good. Projection is good. Um, I can smell it on me after an hour or two still, and that's usually a good sign for me. And it wasn't like I had to dig in to smell it. It was, it was. I could feel it coming out of my off my shirt and off my skin right here. I could smell it. All right. So does the wifey like it? Let's see the second box. And do people give me compliments or is it no? Was it pleasing fragrance? You could check the box safely on this one. The wifey did like it. I did get a compliment wearing this from a lady in the store. She said, what are you wearing? I'm saying, I'm not, that's the thing I explained to him. Just say, I'm wearing a fig floral fragrance, ma'am. <laughs> that's how I get to the point. It's a blend of two fragrances, but it's really well done. Here's my card, sample it sometime if you want to. Oh man, gorgeous. This fragrance to me is when Dua's at their best. This is a great blend. Great job, Dua. Perfect blend. And you put that Dua stamp power on it. No funk, straight grade out the bottle. Amazing job. So the third box, how much do I like it? Do I love it? I love this one. I can't hide my love for it. One of my favorite, favorite blends of the year. No doubt. Up there in the top 10 for sure. When I make this top 10 list at the end of the year, this one will be there. Hopefully if I can remember. <laughs> write this down and keep notes. So this one gets my full seal approval. Fico Del Mafia Coast. Fig Del Mafia Coast, excuse me. Gets my full seal approval. Well worth you checking out. Ladies or guys can rock it. No problem. All right, so moving on to the next one. And this is the one that's been kind of hyped up a little bit because it's two amazing fragrances in their own right. Lemon Sight from Louis Vuitton, which I don't own. I have sampled. I bought three or four Louis Vuittons and I've been able to get free samples. And I've sampled Lemon Sight all day. I know all about it. It kind of, to me, has almost an Invictus vibe, an Invictus vibe to it, like a lemony Invictus vibe. That's the vibe I get from it. And this bad boy with it. So Lemon Sight from Louis Vuitton. Super expensive fragrance. And Aqua de Gio Essenza. Bam. Dua still probably does Essenza better than any other hat clone house, in my opinion. Uh, with their version of an Essence of Water, this one right here is well worth your time. Oh, man, this is the number one Aqua Zero fragrance in my collection. I got a backup bottle on top of a backup bottle on top of a backup bottle. Bam! Oh, 
And I, pay, and I paid for both of these bad boys. Paid for them. So this one sent me back. I didn't have you. No one spent as much as I spent on trying to do his version of it. But, so, we've got two great fragrances blended together. Let's find out how it works. Is it mostly one, or is it a good blend of both, or is it just kind of a mess? All right, we'll put this one on my skin right here. Let's find out. Essence of Vast Citrus Water. This one is neither one dominating the other. This is a perfect harmony match. I smell them both at the same time and they both smell great. People say they can blend this themselves, good luck. Because when you blend them, you're always gonna overspray one or the other and you're never gonna get the right amount. This one has the equal amounts of both and it's nailed perfectly. Essence of Bass Citrus Water is a kind of like a new fragrance in a way, in my opinion. This happens sometimes. I've seen them do it with four fragrances in one and create a whole new fragrance. So, this one to me, when you smell it, you're gonna get that really, really nice um, um, citrusy blast, fresh aquatic opening. No funk at all, it just starts off really well. Uh, what I do like is I do pick up on the lemon side a little bit, and I do pick up on the on on, on the um, aqua senza, aqua zero senza a little bit too. It's there, but to me, it's almost a brand new blend. It is uplifting and it's refreshing. It is citrus on top of citrus with some more citrus and just rawr. <laughs> That's what this one is. Let's check out the notes on this bad boy real quick. Um, the notes on this bad boy are. Grapefruit, which I know I can pick up on that grapefruit right away. Oh man, ginger. I do pick up on that ginger. Kaleon, basil. I never pick up on basil. Whoever said I can pick up on basil is an, is an amazing person to me. If you can pick up the note of basil, you're amazing. <laughs> Floral notes, jasmine, bergamot, and broxen. Water notes, sage, rosemary, geranium, amber, pepper, cedarwood, musk, ambergris, ambergris patchouli, and lavender. As this fragrance starts off like a nice citrus fragrance, where I think the Ascenza comes in is in that dry down, where you pick up a little bit more of that, of that kind of like, kind of like sage, rosemary vibe, incense vibe. I get a little bit from this. You were as Ascenza started that with a little bit of incense vibe, and whereas Profumo took it to the next level. You do get a dry down that's kind of just a little bit more Ascenza. And I like that because I prefer the Ascenza dry down over the lemon side dry down. So in the opening, it's an equal race. They're both putting out lemon side and, and Ascenza about the same amount as blended perfectly. Towards the end, the Ascenza takes over a little bit. And as I can tell, this fragrance is flawless, flawless. It's a beautiful citrus fragrance. Is it something you don't have in your collection? Probably yes, because this doesn't smell like a lot of other citrus fragrances. I think the grapefruit is enhanced really well to the point where it's not tiger-esque or afternoon swim-esque. It's its own thing. This fragrance just delivers and delivers and with the heat and the, ah, it's just gonna be a great fragrance to wear any time of the day. All right, performance, another one, solid. Four to six hours, I'll take it on these citrus. Light citrus fragrances, it delivers. Ascenza was a solid performing fragrance already by itself, and so was Lemon Sight. So this performs decent. I'll take it. I'll give it a check in the box. I did have a nice, really nice scent bubble where people were smelling when I left the room an hour or two later. So I was impressed with that. Performance is solid, so check the box. Does the wifey like it? Pfft, of course she likes it. It's got Aqua Geo in it. She's going to love it. No. <laughs> you can put Aqua Geo in anything, and she's going to like it. All right, so check the box on that. Thirdly, how much do I love it? Do I like it? Do I highly recommend I highly recommend this one. Again, another banger. We've had some duds coming up from Dua. We'll speak about those later. <laughs> but these two are not. These two are well-crafted hybrids. When Dua's at its best is when it's blending fragrances. Amazing job here, Dua. Oh, just both of my arms smell amazing. I gotta say, they both get my full seal Pat Boy approval. 
Sample them at fatboyfragrance.com. Buy them at Dua, at Dua's website. I've been leaving that below too. All right. That's all the time I got. Enjoy your Friday. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. And if you smell good, baby, and you feel good, baby, then it's going to be all good. Fatboy Fragrance Reviews is out.